When it comes to rescuing animals, it should apply to absolutely all kinds. Sometimes they can be really tiny. Moreover, sometimes the animals are so small that they are difficult to notice. A pair of sharp eyes as well as a few noses found a tiny creature. It wasn't clear what it was at first. Moreover, the tiny thing was very lucky, as noticing a creature weighing about 18 milligrams is barely possible for a human and the dogs could have harmed him out of curiosity. It turned out to be a baby feather tail glider, a type of mammal of the Diprotodon Taia order. It must have fallen out of the mother's pouch. Given his weight was less than that of a paperclip, the tiny creature could not have made it on its own. A man was walking his dogs when they suddenly smelled something and brought his owner to the baby creature. The rescuer took the animal to the zoo. The tiny, almost hairless creature was brought to the Australia Zoo Hospital, a place known for rescuing animals. When the feather tail glider grows up, he will weigh about 13 grams. His body will be 6 to 8 centimeters long, and his tail will be about 7 to 8 centimeters long. Feather tail gliders are the smallest mammals in the world. They are found on the east coast of Australia and feed on nectar and insects. These tiny animals live on trees, rarely getting down to the ground. Despite their small size and weight, they can fly for 25 meters in a jump. They use their tails for maneuvering, steering, braking, keeping balance, which is how they move from tree to tree. They make homes in trees. It can be a sphere nest from eucalyptus or fern leaves or tree bark, or it can be hollow. Experts believe that Poop, the rescued feather tail glider, will grow up strong and healthy and will be let back out into the wild. The zoo should be proud as its employees never refuse to help via tiny animals like poop or huge crocodiles. To end this video, I'd like to say people who rescue animals, thank you for existing. Like our video if you agree, and we'll see you soon.